Last night on News 10, we told you about a very scary situation in Vincennes. A community was on lockdown for several hours. That's due to a threat of an explosive device in a home. News 10's Gary Bryan is live at the 1900 block of College Avenue in Vincennes. That's where it all happened last night. He joins us now to share how the community is recovering from that scare. Life here on the 1900 block of College Avenue here in Vincennes is relatively quiet today. But yesterday was a different story. Police evacuated everywhere from just here at Daly and College Avenue all the way down this block, all the way just to about the YMCA. Friday was quiet on the 1900 block of College Avenue in Vincennes. But on Thursday, that was not quite the case. I came home from work, my normal route, came around Veterans Drive here at the YMCA and I see all these police cars blocked off the road and I'm thinking, is my house on fire or what do I need to do? Kathy Mooney's home of 31 years wasn't on fire. Members of the Knox County Drug Court accountability team, including a, a VPD detective, uh, were doing an accountability check and during that check they discovered an item believed to be explosives. Police arrested Jordan Chanley for possession of an explosive device. The 1900 block of College Avenue was evacuated while officials could remove any explosives. I saw the police on down by the entrance of the nursing home and I kind of yelled like I live right here I'm just going home going home and had my hand on a cone and of course they came down and said no <laughs> uh, we'd like for you to leave the area and that's all they would say. Bridge Point Health Campus was within the evacuation zone. Officials with the assisted living facility say that steps were taken to ensure residents safety. Mooney says she learned what was going on through a friend. So we're just trying to piece it together. Somebody said there was a bomb somewhere and we're not quite sure where. But okay. thank goodness nothing came of it. <laughs> Despite the evacuations, Mooney says she was not worried for her well-being. It's the way of the world and it's unfortunate and uh, we try to be very diligent or diligent and you know, the police handled it well. The investigation into Thursday's event is ongoing. Of course, News 10 will continue to follow this story. Live in Vincennes, Gary Bryan, News 10.